From Phoenix, Arizona, players and fans alike are enjoying the luxury of the closed roof and air conditioning. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Yoan Lopez will be the one towing the rubber for the Diamondbacks. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. So striding in, David Dahl, and we are set for baseball here for this evening. The center fielder, David Dahl. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Called strike 0 and 2. 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Fouled away. Back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. So that puts the Rockies' leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning. A ah, nice piece of hitting right there. When you're facing a young blood on the mound, that's young that's starting pitcher, right you want to get him 19. into the stretch as quick as possible. Darling. You want to see how he handles the moment, to see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. And there he goes toward second. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The relay throw. And he is out at third. So credit him with a double and an RBI here. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. In now for Colorado, Nolan Arenado. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. And he fouls this one off. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. And another foul ball. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. That is Who's the one to watch, the Dan? Up. Well, I'm looking for Forever. a big performance from Nolan Arenado. He finished last season with the most home runs in the major leagues. He won the major league home run title. He can put a ball into orbit when he catches it, and I hope he catches one in this game. Oh, and not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. 0-1. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Herman Marquez gets the start for Colorado in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Marquez might have the best stuff in this rotation right now. Big fastball, and I mean big. 95 to 100 miles an hour with movement. Good hard breaking ball. One of the best kept secrets in the game. If he's throwing strikes, could be a long night for those guys swinging the bats. Now at the plate, Gerard Dyson. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh. 
skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. With that, let's take a look at the hometown Diamondbacks lineup card. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matty, I'm excited to watch David Peralta play. This guy was one of three silver sluggers in the National League for outfielders. He can flat out rake. You get in that category, only three guys of all the outfielders in that league, that's pretty impressive. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay, you want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Behind 0-2 now. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. And he'll reach second now with one away. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up that in the zone true. and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on it. Boy, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, that's right? You use one. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one that's away. Cool. No nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. Previous history with Herman Marquez. He's totaled 13 base hits in 29 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. Runners are at first and third, one away. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Your basic six, four, three will get him out of danger. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Striding in for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. Rock. He'll lead things off here in this one-run right. contest. McMahon. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. A ball and two strikes the count to Ryan McMahon. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing a bat at that pitch. Flores has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Static fifth. The first baseman, number nine. Into the box now, Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. Escobar waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting seven. So bases are the empty catcher, here with two gone, 15. and that brings Tony. up the catcher, Tony Walters. Walters. First pitch on its way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Lifted in the air out to center field. Marte is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So striding forward now, Christian Leading Walker. He'll start us out back. here in the home half the of the second. Baseman. And a called right strike here. down in the zone, nothing and one. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks first baseman. Here's a pop up now. And there's out number one. That exists. The so the base is empty here Wilbur. with one away. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. 
into center field line drive base hit. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed, previous history with Herman Marquez. Just a 1 for 12 career line. Ahmed has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right handed pitching, that is. He shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Up next for Arizona, Alex Avila. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One and oh, the count. Here it comes, one and oh. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw to Murphy, he'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Striding into the box, Rymel Tapia, as we are all set to begin the Rymel third inning in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball well outside. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Nearly oh. got the inside, but ruled the ball. The 2-2. Two -two. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Herman Marquez. He, of course, no slouch at the plate as he, in fact, took home the Silver Slugger Award for National League pitchers a season ago. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. Oh. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Ouch, that one hit him. Oh boy, pro pitchers belong to a closed fraternity, so you don't usually see that very often. And anytime it does happen, folks start hanging on the top steps of the dugout. These things usually don't go unpunished. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Rocky center fielder looking at a 2 0 count now. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind it to count two and zero. Oh. Two and one to David Dahl. The two one pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in. Charlie, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And if you remember, it was kind of one of those cardinal sin type of mistakes. Whether it was him or the third base coach, you cannot make the first or third out at third, especially when you had a double in the bag. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Marquez, the runner at first with two gone. Line toward right center. But he will run this one down in right center. A tough L. So here now is the pitcher, Yoram Lopez, as we back. move on to the bottom of the inning pitcher. number three. Number 50. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Oh 
liner towards second. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. The right fielder, double ball. Ready with the first pitch. Double. Here it comes. Jason. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. The center fielder, number From four. the stretch. He'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. There goes the runner. Strike taken. The throw. One ball, one strike. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. The 1-1 one, one is looked at off the plate for a ball. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of the slump. But this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Arenado will look this one in and that's out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Peralta, 0 for 1 here in the early going. We'll get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Nolan Arenado. The third base, first pitch of the at bat on its way. And right into the shift. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball one. laid off well below the knees. Yeah. One and two. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Grounded to third. Escobar loves it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now that and that brings in the power hitting Trevor. shortstop Trevor Four. Story. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The batter. Here's Ryan the McMahon now. Comes into this in. at bat 0 for 1 McMahon. in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Marte is after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Christian Walker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. For the Diamondback, the first baseman. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. 1 for 1 after a single his first time up. Counts even at 1 and 1 to Wilmer Flores. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early. Cause he get the miss inside. McMahon is under it, no problem. One away. The batter number 13. So a runner on first with one out now, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. No balls in one strike. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Oh, he looked like a caveman oh, swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now batting. Pitch Catcher. on its way to Avila. Alex. 
And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. You know, you think it's an eight hole hitter right there. You shouldn't be taking that fastball, and you're right. But when you got the pitcher hitting behind you, you and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. And back in Phoenix as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He told me that they've been run. way too aggressive the on the first, first pitch of the at-bat. And while he doesn't Daniel necessarily condemn that Murphy. if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Line drive to center field. Marte, patrolling center, makes the play one out. The catcher, number So four. one away here with the bases Tony empty. Yeah, that Walter. brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. First pitch coming, here it is. Here Looked up. like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but oh, this too. offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Lifted in the air to center. Marte moves over, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now, now here comes the Arizona the skipper yours. up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. Oh, yeah. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Your attention, so he'll head for an early shower as he fails to go the requisite five innings, but it doesn't matter anyway in a tie game. Matt. He'll leave with a no and decision. Reece. Matt Andrees, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Now the Diamondbacks get a left hander up and working in the bullpen. Uh, had him reaching at okay. thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the 8-all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. And one thing he mentioned Ladies is how gentlemen, well they're doing at simply putting playing. the ball in play. They currently Who's have more than one hit per ball. inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. Abraham. So far, the recipe for success oh, has been to make contact there. early and often. All right, Heidi, thank you. Lifted the other way to left center. Copy is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The right field. Here's Gerard Double Dyson. Ball. He's working on a Good one ball. for two game so far. Dyson. Yeah. And that's taken for strike one. One run, five hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. One and one to the oh. D backs leadoff man. One and one. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Line drive to left. Tapia is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Coming backs down in order. We played five full, tied at one aside. Robbie Number Scott 63. takes over to start the sixth Robbie. inning on the mound. Scott. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Wow. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both the lefty and a righty up to throw. A ball and a strike. Scott, the former Red Sox, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected Peralta is under it one down now batting. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in. David Dahl, one for two on his line so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded slowly to the left side. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Up next for Colorado. Here's Charlie Blackman now. One for Charlie. two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Hey, if I'm on the mound right now and I get a swing and miss like that, I'm bouncing it even further, throwing it even higher. I might pick up the rosin bag and throw that and see if I can no get ball. a swing and a miss. Blackman behind, no balls and two strikes. A pause and the 0-2. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Three. Digging in, Eduardo Escobar. He'll lead it off go. as we Four start the home back. sixth. The third baseman. And that's no. inside and for a ball, 1-0. Escobar. And he That's just ball. misses inside with the fastball there. Now the 2 0. And it's fouled away. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Now batter. No so a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, the outfielder, oh, David oh Peralta. God. Oh, no, that screaming comebacker nailed him. No chance to make the play. Let's just hope he's okay on the mound. Number 54 will take the ball now, now as the new the pitcher. Block. Number 54. Christian Walker will be his first test out of the bullpen, now and it'll back. be a tough first test baseman. indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Walker. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. Tapia is there, and he'll bring this one in. So it's a tight spot Wilmer. here. First and second, one Wilmer. man out. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. One ball, no strikes to count. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batter. Stepping in and ready for yeah. another shot. Nick Ahmed oh, see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Come set the 0 1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And um, that's going to fall. A base hit. Uh, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home play. Boy, talking about coming up with a big knock. After that pop up, it looked now like the it. inning was potentially <laughs> over. Big two out base hit to All drive right, in a run. Off. Yeah, you watch your teammate in front of you miss his pitch. He got a nice pitch to hit right there and pops it up. You could tell he was dejected as he went back to the dugout. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Ladies Yoshihisa Hirano Your takes the mound please. now, and it appears he's Be being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits now, next. Yeah, yeah you usually really don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
ball. Good nice job, job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Hidano is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring Here position, right. tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty D, to being a good reliever is now being that. able to pitch Whoops. out of trouble. trouble. Trouble that's created by sure. the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some nest that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes Here good right. pitches when the game's on the line. A ball one, and a one. strike to Trevor Story. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. To two balls and two strikes now. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. You know, D-Row, there's been some great pitching in this one batter, so far. After four, that knock, that's only the third Ryan. hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they please. always say you got to tip your hat now to the opposition the sometimes. Well, I think this offense is Number tired 40. of tipping its hat. And they got to start to swing their bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. A oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Now with the plate, Daniel Murphy. Lifetime against this pitcher. Daniel Not a big sample size. Murphy. 0 for 1. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Number 14. Hey, that's a beautiful job of executing a hit and run right there. Pretty interesting. Must have known he was going to try and get over the heart of the plate right there with something either fastball or something off speed because he was coming unglued. Oh, oh. There's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. A ball and a strike. And there's ball two now. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Hit hard to short. There is Ahmed. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ready now. Caleb Joseph. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Tapia is there, and he makes the catch for the out. One gun now in the Arizona seventh, and into bat next is Speedy Gerard Dyson. In there, 0-1. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Now a curveball misses inside. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Here's another 2 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Stepping in, Patel Marte. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Blackman is under it, and the inning is over. So, T.J. McFarland has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 30. DJ. Ready for another chance? Rymel Tapia. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. 
And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Ian Desmond will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. For Colorado, number 20, Ian Desmond. McFarland playing here in his age 29 season. He was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in his zone now gets him to hit it on the ground. The but obviously the result Eight. wasn't what he wanted. Go. Stepping in now David Dahl. And there's a base hit on the line. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next for Colorado. That had to be in the scouting the report field. right there. You Charlie. don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. Into the box, Charlie Blackman in the dirt. And now let's see. So now two men in scoring position. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Here's Nolan Arenado. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here comes the 0-1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a 1-2 count on the guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. On to first, it's a double play as they're... DJ Johnson please. will come on to pitch now, now as he'll move into the Colorado. eighth spot in the lineup Number on the double switch here. A Ian Desmond will also come on now as he'll move now into the pitcher's left. number nine hold Number in the order 20. here on that double yeah. switch. Desmond. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Starts him with a good rising fastball no there for strike one. Line drive to center field. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Wow, talk now about back. having a pretty Let's special go. game. That's Denver. his third single of the game, oh, D-Row. Oh, three for four. One not ball, a bad game. Back. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher is giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result. A double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Standing in now, Christian Walker. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Another one two delivery fouled off. He's set and the one two pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Desmond is there. And that retires the side. 
Archie Bradley takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 25. Digging in and looking for more. Trevor Story. Look the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate. That's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run, but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone. Got him swinging in the dirt. Joseph recovers, and he makes the throw to first. Story is retired, and there's one away. Second base. Ryan digging in once McMahon. again Ryan McMahon he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up well wow. there's a fastball missing down and away for a ball one and oh <laughs> on a swing and he popped him up off to the left in foul territory. Escobar is over and he tucks it away for the second the out. The first baseman. Daniel. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Head to head numbers against Archie Bradley. He's a perfect three for three. A oh. ball and no strikes. Popped him up. 